write it, the large man said. He had one hand wrapped around the woman's throat. He sat across from her at her dinette table. Her husband wouldn't be home from the office for another two hours, but by then, it would be too late. The blue pen in her hand quivered just over the tabletop. Tears streaked her face. Write it, the large man commanded. She brought the pen down on the bare wooden tabletop. She formed the first letter of the word the man wanted her to write. Oddly, she worried more about ruining the table than her life. In a flowing cursive, she continued the word. The third letter flowed into the fourth, then fifth. As she neared the final letter, the large man reached over with his free hand and held her hand down. If you lift the pen, you die, he told her. Keep writing until the pen runs out. When it runs out, you die. He let go of her writing hand. Write, he ordered. She began to scribble slowly. The pen wasn't a new pen. It had been sitting on top of the kitchen counter. She tried to remember how long it had been in use. She drew on unblemished parts of the table in a vain effort to gauge how long she had left. She wondered how he got in. She was alone in the house, and then, suddenly, he was there, firmly holding her by her throat at the table. She looked up at the man who held her still. His black eyes bored a hole through her so much that she quickly looked back down. The word he wanted her to write sounded like gibberish. It was a word she never heard before. She pronounced it in her head, and it still made no sense. She dragged the pen over it several times, crossing it out, masking it. Soon, it was just a blue smudge. She looked up at him again, defiant. The man looked down at the table and grinned. What's done is done, he remarked. She wanted to stab him with the pen in his black eyes. If only he would let her go. She saw her pen was running out of ink. It's black eyes. She wondered if she was quick enough to do it, and strong enough. In a past life, she wouldn't have the nerve, but now she had nothing to lose. As if he read her mind, the large man released his warm hold on her throat. He eased back into his chair. Her neck was wet where he held her. Now was the time. She stopped scribbling and looked down at the table. She saw she was just tracing her markings. She dragged the pen to an empty space. The pen was dry. She looked wide-eyed at the large man. Her pulse increased. Maybe the end would be sudden. She raised her writing hand and was across the table in one nearly invisible motion. It was the man's turn to look at her wide-eyed. The pen pierced his black right eye, crashed through his socket and into his brain. He began to convulse, knocking her aside and off of him. She crawled away. He yelled the word he had her right. He yelled it again and again and again. She howled against him. The large man stood and remained motionless for a few seconds. Then he fell face first a few feet from where she cowered. Blood oozed from his head towards her. She reached down, and before she could touch the blood, she passed out. Honey, wake up. It was her husband. Honey. She felt safe knowing he was home. He would take care of her now. He breathed the word into her ear, and she screamed. <laughs>